Good morning my dear students I hope you all are fine at your places children we all are aware about the current situation so in order to take precautions it's better to stay at home all right and continue studying from home as earlier so before starting our syllabus let me welcome you all to your new class that is fourth class children now you are all in big class so give some more extra time for your studies all right now let me introduce myself first my name is sunidhi i will send you the online videos for computer and i request all of you while watching computer videos keep your computer books with you so first of all note down the syllabus of computer for ut1 in computer notebook to avoid confusion so syllabus for ut1 that is first ut is chapter number 1 computer storage and memory device it's on page number 3 only one chapter in for first ut okay so now let's start our first chapter of computer that is computers storage and memory device so first open page number 3 data versus information I hope you all know about this as you have studied about it in class three, right? So let's revise it again for better understanding. Data versus information. So a computer is a machine that processes data input into information output. and often often stores the data and resulting information for future use so data refers to an input that is whatever we give to computer for processing and information refers to to an output that is whatever computer gives us after processing what we give to computer for processing is input that is data and what computer gives us after processing that is output information okay and also computer saves our work for future use so we can store our work in computer okay so the data is a collection of raw or unprocessed items which includes text words numbers sounds etc and information is a processed data that conveys meaning to users data is unprocessed item and after processing the data information is processed data okay so data is a collection of raw items and information is a processed data okay now one example is given in your book to understand data and information on the same page down but before reading this example let me give you one simple example so that it will be more easy to understand okay so suppose we want to add two numbers we want to add two numbers now i enter the input into the computer that is 2 2 and we have to add that that is our input that means that is our data now what will computer do computer will work on this data all right it will work on this data that is it is processing this data okay so 2 plus 2 that is processing is going on computer is working on the data then 
after processing or working on that data the computer shows us the result as 4 that is our output which is information okay so what we give to computer that is data that is uh, input and what computer return us as a result is information okay now book example which is on page number three and on page number four let's read this example it's also very easy example is of grocery list suppose in grocery shop one person wants to buy some items like three cokes and two cookies one bread one butter packets three mixed juice packets and amount is given there like three cokes which are 80 rupees each two cookies which are 35 rupees each and so on right now the list of items are data the things the person want is data first point is the sale person scan or enter the items into the computer that what 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 are the things the person wants they are data okay simply entering the things which items which a person want all right so this is a data then next point is computer work on data means items entered by the sale person computer works on that data computer process the data and how uh, computer process the data first what it will do it will multiply the quantity of items by item price individually suppose three cokes are there one is for 80 rupees so what it will do computer will do it will multiply three that is item quantity of items with 80 that is price of one item so that it will get the correct amount total amount for three cokes okay and it will do for all the things like for two cookies for one bread two butter packets three mixed juice packets for all those things and after doing this then adds total price of items to find out the grand total total amount okay so this is a processing part first is what what are the things we want we will enter into the computer now computer works on it that is work uh, processing the data all right calculating each and every things and then last point is number three resulting information is printed in the form of cash receipt picture is given in your books of information that is of receipt which is a processed form of data which we call a information okay so i think now it's it is clear to all of you that what is data and what is information how data transfer to information after processing the data info we will get the information okay now next is computer memory this we will do in our next part till then just read the chapter so far one more time for better understanding thank you